You want to be in the investment that nobody's in right now, but in the future, everybody will want. That spells spectacular returns. In this video, we're going to talk about the five top reasons to buy silver. We're going to do a little review. And the fifth reason is possibly the most powerful, most explosive of all, but nobody talks about it. You'll understand it. I'll understand it. We likely do right now, but it's important for us to do a quick review. Also, at the end of the video, I'll tell you how not to buy silver or reasons why you may want to hold back. Hey, I'm going to give you a new video every day about what you love, gold and silver. All I ask from you is please give this video a thumbs up. That helps get the news out to other people. And you know what? It's free to subscribe. Please do that as well. I'm going to wait a second while you do that, and then I'm going to ring the bell for you. Yes, the bell. Thank you for your support. Now let's dive right in to these five fascinating reasons why we want to own silver, why we want to buy silver. Look, I know you probably have an MBA in economics from Harvard, but we'll review when demand for anything is greater than supply. Eventually, that leads to much, much higher prices. There's a real simple saying, price fixes everything, and that includes a supply and demand imbalance. And what do we hear? Have you, have you read the Silver Institute's latest report? Have you read it twice? If you do, what you're going to see is that we have projections for 2023. Hundreds of millions more ounces of silver are being demanded by investors, by industry, than the mining industry is able to supply. There's a huge deficit eventually that will lead to higher prices for silver. You're going to flip your lid when we get to number five, because that's probably the most powerful factor and the one that gets the least amount of attention. But number two, demand. When we look at demand alone, what do we know for silver? We know investors are demanding more silver. We know industry, electronics is demanding more silver. We know that solar, the whole greening of the planet, right? Global warming, all that stuff that demand for solar panels, they need silver, that's increasing as well. So when we just focus in on demand, it's going literally through the roof. Do you get a little angry when you hear people say that silver is no longer a monetary metal, it's just an industrial metal? Well, that's dead wrong. Silver has been a monetary metal, many people say, even longer than gold. Think about this. Let this sink in. Could you go anywhere in the world with a 10 ounce silver bar and be able to extract value with it? I think you definitely could, right? That's a key fundamental. Silver is universally valuable. It's valuable in India. It's valuable in Africa. It's valuable in South America. It's valuable here in Ron's basement and it's valuable in your basement as well. Silver is valuable everywhere, but but there's even one more interesting component to that that we need to talk about. It's also timeless. We're talking thousands and thousands of years, much longer than you or I have been alive. Your great, 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 great grandpa and his great grandpa could have passed a silver bar down for hundreds of generations and it would have maintained its value. Think about whatever paper or other make-believe currency they may have used back then, say six, seven hundred years ago. Would it have any value now? No, it would probably be dust. Do you want to have all your eggs in one basket? I hope not. And what silver does is offers us the opportunity for portfolio diversification. We may own some stocks. We may own some bonds. We may have some cash. We may have bank accounts. We may have all types of investment vehicles, but silver and gold, for that matter, silver's big brother, offers us portfolio wealth diversification. And that's going to lead us into our final and most critical key that could really see the price of silver in particular skyrocket. 
First Mining Gold is a development company advancing two of the largest gold projects in Canada, Springpole in Ontario and Duparquet located in Quebec. Each already has 5 million ounces of gold reserves, but exploration initiatives are underway at both projects to find even more gold. First Mining is well financed, has zero debt, and owns an interest in four additional Canadian gold development projects. Do you think it's often the things in life that nobody talks about that then often become the most important? Well, nobody's talking about precious metals. Nobody's talking about silver, right? We know that. We're one in 600 people. Go try to talk to one of your neighbors about silver or gold. They kind of look at you with a blank, uh, blank face and then say, oh, I forgot I have a conference call I need to be on. Now, look, this can act as one of the most powerful forces for the price of the precious metals as we move into the future. Rick Rule, yes, that Rick Rule, the king of precious metals. He recently pointed out that we only have like 0.5% of the world's wealth invested, represented by precious metal-oriented investments. And over a long-term basis, the average is 2%. Do you know how much silver and gold additional investment would need to come into the market to get it just back to the long-term average? It would be four times as much as we have right now. And think about this. There's an added bonus. Think about it. If we overshoot the average, we're way below the average right now. Let's say we go to 3% or maybe as high as 4% where it's been in the past. That would be eight times as much money coming into the precious metals. Look, the future looks bright for the metals. Now, there's a couple things that we need to talk about as well. Cautionary statements that I want to share with you. The first is don't put all your eggs in one basket. Do diversify. Look, I'm kind of guilty of not doing that myself. We have limited diversification here in Ron's basement, but nonetheless, we don't want to put all of our eggs into one basket, all of our money into one metal, all of our money into one particular stock or anything like that. Even if we're focused on the precious metal sector, we want to have some forms of diversification. And if you're going to put some money to work in the precious metal sector, don't do it all at once. I recommend, although I'm not offering you financial advice, but I recommend dollar cost averaging. For instance, let's say you have $12,000 and you want to buy silver. Maybe buy $1,000 a month for the next 12 months. That way, if the price goes up or the price goes down, you're not taking that risk of buying it all at one time. And right now, we're in a situation where the premiums, the amount of money that you have to pay above the spot price, are near all-time highs. That could change as well. Look, it could go much, much higher. I think long term, in my view, that's an inevitability. However, it could go lower. We could see a lower silver price with lower premium. So you want to make sure you always have some dry powder, dollar cost average. And thanks for joining me. Hey, go watch one of my live streams. Those are super entertaining and I'll see you next time.